cousin. What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo for the mid month of July 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of loving on yourself, appreciating yourself, nurturing yourself, and really setting healthy boundaries with people for yourself? <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards going to say. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, okay? Uh, this re a reading may or may not resonate with everybody, you guys. If it does not, okay, please feel free to watch your sun, your moon, your rising signs, as well as your Venus. Or um, you can look in the description below and order a personal reading, okay? You guys, for the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional. We sometimes we cry, all right? We definitely cuss. <laughs> but we do love, we grow, we share, we enlighten, we evolve. Positive vibes only over here, all right? You guys, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers yet again for the sign of Virgo. Let's get it, all right? I'm meditating on your energy, you guys. It was very interesting because I felt a sense of a roller coaster, okay? Some of you guys may be experiencing just that, a roller coaster. There's a lot of energy, well, energy. There's a lot of activity. There is a lot of energy that's popping off right now. But there is a lot of activity and focus uh, on the heart chakra as well as the throat chakra for you guys. A lot of you guys are really needing to actively use the throat chakra during this time. Some of you guys, it has to do with you speaking up in order to create some type of dynamic dynamic of movement or whether you're doing this by yourself or you setting setting boundaries with telling people what the hell you will and will not allow in your life, okay? The people do what you allow them to do, alright? So let's get it. Intuitive messages for the sign of Virgo. I got peace, resolutions, confidence, releasing, anxiety. Let go and let God. Worry not. Value structure. Centeredness. Y'all right bad. <laughs> Burden free. Finalization. Abundance. Family. Legacy. Frenemies. Trust issues. Vulnerability. Father issues. Gossip. Spiritual path, past life, ownership. All right. Ooh, I like Virgo. Any of the intuitive messages did um, resonate with you all? This show motherfucking message. Let's talk about it. All right. To all of uh, the family that is returning, I just realized I missed that part of the spiel. What's up, baby? What's popping? All right. I miss you guys. And I wanted to kind of start with the earthy, uh, with the energy. I mean, sorry, the energy, the, uh, the videos that I have to upload because I'm going to be going live. Um, with Sag, Pisces, and Gemini because they showed they Isis, okay? So, um, if you guys are cross-watching, definitely be looking out for those lives between tomorrow and the day after, y'all. It is been real, okay? Overall energy around the reading, you guys. Got the eight of spades. Movement forward. Also, communication coming in, okay? Also, some of, some of you guys also may be moving towards um, taking a leap of faith and actually starting your own business or starting beginning to invest in yourself that's saying keeping the same damn energy that you put in other people and putting it into your damn self. And stop telling this during this time, y'all don't tell y'all business to other people. Keep make your make your next and your next move your best move, but make it a solid. Okay, the message that you guys got, angel message is sapphire. Easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work, okay? So some of you guys may be getting into some type of um, healing work or some type of Reiki. Some of you guys may be interested in some type of Reiki work. Others of you, this has to do with creativity. Someone is a clothing designer. I'm seeing someone actually taking the initiative of getting information on strategically planning a boutique, okay? I'm seeing an online store for some of you all. Some of you guys are receiving messages in your subconscious space, your dreams um, from your ancestors. Some of you guys will be connecting with your higher self during this time. Some of you guys may experience or have someone in your energy that you guys are not really trusting moving forward with. But this, it seems as if this person has had some type of metamorphosis. Spirit says, worry not. And just focus on the now, and everything will be revealed to you forward or revealed to you moving forward. Okay, um, this card is beautiful, y'all. Sapphire, all right. 
again, there's again with the blue here, there is a focus on healing as well as the throat chakra. Some of you guys, there's some type of expansion trying to happen with the heart chakra, but there's a war between the mind and the heart space. Okay, so we're gonna read this angel message to you guys, Sapphire. And this is the Doreen Virtue, I believe, Crystal Angels deck, or Crystal Angels Oracle card deck. Sapphire, easy does it. The angels send you this card because you've been pushing yourself past your limits with multitasking, rushing against deadlines, and worrying about other people. <laughs> you may have also overdone it socializing and partying in your nightlife. Now's the time to rest and a good detox or permanent abstinence can help you recover your energy levels and health. This card is also a reminder to stay in the present moment and tackle projects one step at a time to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Perhaps you've been overly focused upon the future, anticipating better times or worrying about what lies ahead. Or you may have been consumed with past events. You are now being guided to concentrate upon the here and the now so that you can enjoy your life, even if your current circumstances aren't ideal. In addition, this can be a sign to retire from the strenuous job or give up a hobby that you've outgrown. If it puts your physical or uh, mental health at risk, Take it easy and approach your life gently. Reassessment time, Virgo. Some of y'all may have a damn Sagittarius coming to try to bust, bust up in your damn life like puppy ass, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Let's check up on this love. Some of you guys are feeling this energy of, there's, it's like you know what you want to do. You have the perfect strength, the perfect plan, the perfect strategy, but there's a sense of confidence issue or you have some type of confidence issue or doubting yourselves or there's this fear around being rejected before you even look at the op optimistic side of whatever this opportunity um, or um, circumstance that is presenting itself to be beneficial in your life. Okay, some of y'all I'm hearing help is on the way. Okay, what messages do you have for my summer rather than as one of the cross watchers or the sign of Virgo? From mid July 2019. Here, please show me what they can. Thank you. Okay, some of you guys could be, some of you guys could be having some type of damn dispute. Some of y'all could have actually moved away from somebody. And some of you guys are gonna be victorious in this state of singlehood. Okay, some of you guys are shedding light on situations in your life that has, that is giving you toxic outcomes or why you. Some of you guys are one asking yourself, why the hell is it that I keep attracting toxic people? You guys are going within during this time. Some of you guys have an internal conflict about moving away from being a third party in a situation, okay? And for some of you all, this has to do possibly with an air sign or another earth sign. Some of you all just have to do with a fire sign. Some of you all, this could be someone wanting to communicate who wants to put you in a third party situation that you felt either left out in the cold or abandoned by, okay? I feel like this person is coming back now and you, you, you prosperous. You're abundant. You focus on moving forward, okay? Some of you guys could be focusing on, some of y'all could be moving forward victoriously with a fire sign after having some type of, um, after having some type of clarity in a situation or someone is going to be receiving some type of an apology and someone is choosing not to be somebody's damn third party. I'm hearing you a hoe. Somebody thinks somebody is a hoe, okay? Um, I don't know who that's for. Oh, she fell all over the place. All right, let's get it. Okay, but I definitely feel overall outcome moving forward. And I definitely feel somebody is going to be in their damn feelings about it, all right? Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign. And some of you guys are moving away from this person because this person doesn't want to open up and be vulnerable. However, they have to have little side bitches that they can manage to be damn vulnerable with, okay? Some of you all, there's a need for you to trust your intuition. Some of y'all could be dreaming about a child, okay? There's a need for you all to trust your intuition. If those of you, some of y'all could be feeling that someone could have moved away from you or um, went to go reconcile some type of family situation. I do see someone is releasing a karmic tie to a child's mother. This could be a fire sign or a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys, there's a need for you all to be real with yourself and surrender surrender the aspect of control. Others of you, this also have to do with your management of money during this time. Don't overly do it and overly obsess about, you know, holding on to money, holding on to that lack mindset. There's a need for you all to release that, okay? Some of you guys could definitely be separating yourself from possibly a Scorpio during this time or an Aries, okay? Others of you, I definitely feel like for those of you who have been waiting to hear news about movement, I do see you actually hearing the for those, so, so for those of you who have been um, wanting to travel and go back to school, for those of you who have been wanting to travel, and for travel, you, there's positive news about traveling, or some of y'all are going to be receiving some type of help towards a travel, okay? Y'all need to open your mouth and be vulnerable. Some of you guys are really needing to release uh, the aspect of pride as well, my babies, okay? Some of y'all are really done fighting with a fire sign, fire sign every real Sagittarius. Some of y'all, this could be your twin flame. 
some of you all were fighting with this person and this person wasn't giving you all of the truth because I feel like this person could also be going through some type of financial lack or financial. Some of y'all, this person was coming back to apologize, but it's because <laughs> it's because they, they need you, baby. They coming back and lack. They want to hold on. They still want to try to control the situation to make, it, make you feel as if you're tied to it, as if you're obligated. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Capricorn that's being extremely obsessive, okay? Some of you all could be getting some type of clarity regarding a situation that involves a Leo, okay, and a child, an outside child. Others of you just have to do with you moving away from a situation and actually able to, you moving away from a situation because you, you feel as if something better is coming, okay? Some of you guys could also be finding out that you are pregnant by a person as soon as you've moved away from them, and it could cause a power moment because I feel as if you're kind of stuck on if I go or if I stay. Others of you, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could also be finding out that someone could be reconciling, um, or someone could be moving away in silence, which is going to leave someone else feeling betrayed, okay? Some of y'all could also be holding the secret of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or some of you guys could be making, somebody is leaving the situation like cold turkey. One of you guys this month is going to go to work and don't come back home because you already have a home set up home away from home bitch <laughs> oh shit y'all strategizing okay some of you guys are definitely moving forward with the fire sign after moving away from possibly an earth sign or a water sign if you're dealing with a fire sign i do see a reconciliation but i feel like there's going to be a different perception around because i feel like some of you guys perceive this person to a to to have abandoned you, but some of y'all, this person, especially if they were married to another person or involved with another person, some of y'all, this it's like this person was trying to keep you safe. Because some of y'all, somebody is attached to a crazy ass baby, like a, a child's mother or an ex that is pretty obsessive, who could be a Pisces or a Gemini or a Libra. Others of you, there is victory in moving forward during this time. Okay, so some of you all, this could have to do with your finances. Okay. For those of you who feel as if you're not making enough at work, I feel as if you're kind of being back in that corner to face your fears during this time. It's a question of your worth in every aspect of your life. This looks like work. This looks like home. Resetting and, and, and transmuting negative situations into either like assessing them, acknowledging them, reviewing them, and either tra transmuting them into positive circumstances that can pretty much grow into abundant situations elsewhere after having um, healthy conversations with your spouse, with your loved ones. Someone, Someone's not speaking to their mother during this time. I do see that there will be some type of communication going into the end of July, going into August with your mother. I feel as if you need to stand your ground. Somebody's mother doesn't support their dream, and you feel as if you need that validation from that mother figure, but to be honest, you've shown yourself in this life that you're extremely strong. And her opinion it's not going to make and break you, and it doesn't It doesn't depict the, it doesn't pretty much, it doesn't have to do with the outcome of you being abundant, because overall, I do see you guys land a situation to rest and doing so, your money blockages that you feel as if you may have maybe removed. Some of y'all are dealing with a brand new water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and you have an attachment to an earth sign, and this person is, this, this earth sign, I mean, and, yeah, you have an attachment to an earth sign, this could be the father a mother of your children, this person is trying to fuck your shit up, okay? Some of y'all are definitely going to be finding out that you're dealing with an Aries person that could be married, okay? Others of you are juggling if you even want to continue this marriage uh, with the, in a relationship with an Aries, a Scorpio, a Gemini. I definitely feel like you guys are going to be keeping moves, situations, plans to yourselves during this time. A lot of you all could be saving money um, to make the next move. I definitely see things coming into fruition for you guys closer to the month of August. Some of y'all got a brand new Leo or a Libra that wants to come in. Some of y'all is a Gemini or Cancer that wants to come in and live on you. This person is a past life soulmate. I feel as if some of y'all have to make a decision on if you want to keep investing in the situation where you feel as if there's little love or something is not growing. Okay? And some of y'all may have a Sagittarius like puppy ass. What are you going to do? What you going to do? Sit down now. Coming in and out of your life. They think when they feel like it because you're the mother of their child and you're just done with that shit. Or this could be someone who you have some type of um, family dynamic with, okay, have made some type of plans. 
Others of you, you're ending the cycle with a Taurus, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Leo. For now, you're moving forward. And for some of you, I'm just going to leave this person in this state of anxiety because it's a level of appreciation. Motherfuckers don't appreciate you till you're gone, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys definitely could be ending the cycle with a... Uh, some of y'all could be starting a cycle with the Cancer. Some of you guys could also be ending a cycle with the Cancer. But I definitely feel like you guys are going to be abundant overall. This is the energy of abundance. We're taking a leap of faith even towards finances, even towards some type of family dynamic. Because I do feel the energy of a renewal after boundaries are set, after apologies are had, after um, an understanding is had. And make sure that the person is comprehending what it is that you're trying to get across, okay? I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are going to be releasing this state of anxiety. Some of you guys may be experiencing this sense of insomnia. This could have to do with your children, worries about your children. This could also have to do with the past partner who could be a water sign. I feel as if you wanted to manifest this person, you wanted to resurrect the situation because you have children with this person. But this person, you guys have a passionate connection. But other than that, when it comes to the matters of the heart, this person could be a bit defensive. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo, um, Aries, Sagittarius. The situation feels as if it's stuck, Virgo. So you need to make a decision. Some of y'all are going to offer your love possibly to an Aquarian. Some of you guys are hiding a relationship possibly with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus. And I feel like you're hiding this because you don't want nobody to come in and fuck it up. There's a need for you guys not to allow people to project their negative energy and their thoughts into your love life. Keep all your moves silent during this time, Virgo. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys for the month, for mid-month July. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. I love you long, long time, you guys. And let me know if this resonates with y'all because this is the tea, honey. All right? Peace, love, light. Namaste. Bye, babies.